Security analysis and portfolio management is a, it's an interesting course, an interesting course to take, and it's for me it's a really interesting course to teach. In the first part of the course, we talk about security analysis, and we do some of the typical things to help students understand what security analysis is all about. But our perspective is not to create security analysts. That would take much longer than half of a course. Rather, our purpose is to help public company managers who have to deal with the capital markets how security analysts think. It, it helps them answer the eternal question, why is my stock always underpriced? Well, perhaps it's underpriced because of the way security analysts look at the company and its prospects. And so that's a major part of our focus in the first part of the course. In the second part of the course, what we look at is portfolio management because it's a logical extension of security analysis. You analyze securities, but almost everybody holds their investment in the form of portfolios, collections of securities. And one of the things that finance can teach us is that when you put securities in a portfolio, it's not the sum of the individual securities, but that portfolio takes on a life of its own. And that's what we look at in terms of portfolio management, how professionals manage portfolios. We use as our laboratory mutual funds because it's one of the few places that we can actually see portfolio management being done. The course also talks about bonds. It talks about the various kinds of securities and the ways in which securities are analyzed both individually and collectively. The overarching goal of this course is not to create security analysts or portfolio managers, but in the, the spirit of a Kremer education, help the general manager understand how security markets work. As a result, there's an overarching theme to the entire course, and, and that is, well, how exactly is it that security markets work? This has been the source of controversy in academe and in practice for many years. And when I was in the security analysis practice business, I was sort of in a position to try to arbitrate between the academics, who, who are more purist, and the practitioners, who are much more interested in getting the job done. So for me, it's an opportunity to bring some of my real world security a professional security analysis experience into the classroom and share it with students. I think you'll find this an interesting course whether you want to be a security analyst or a portfolio manager or not because the focus really is on how do these things work and how do they relate to my job as a manager of a public or a private corporation. In this course we integrate a lot of professional security analysis software, giving students an opportunity to see how this software works. We've got Bloomberg, which is, after all, the gold standard of security analysis. We use ValueLine. We use Research Insight. We use Morningstar Encore, all tools that, if purchased, would be very expensive, but because it's a because it's a college, because it's Rollins, because it's important. We use these packages, we show students how to use them, and this is something, especially the Bloomberg certification, that you can actually get paid for right out of school.